I'm Dre C for Hutch TV and we are in the Joe Macari Performance Cars showroom. This remarkable garage in uh, southwest London near Wimbledon is absolutely filled with exotic cars. Uh, primarily, there's a lot of Italian cars, some German cars here, uh, and a few other things, but what an absolutely amazing collection of gorgeous automobiles, all in one place. We've been wandering around like a kid on Christmas morning for hours, just looking at all these fantastic Ferraris, Lamborghinis, there's some Mercedes, we've got a Bugatti Chiron here. Absolutely the coolest little hangout. So a little bit of a treat. Um, the winner of the poll for what we should do with our holiday money was that we should buy this Bugatti Chiron. Uh, we can't buy it because it turns out that it's about 2.9 million pounds. But we can sit inside. So, wow. This is crazy. Oh my word. I am, I am sitting in three million pounds. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest things I've ever done. Like this, this is the steering wheel to, what is it like 200 and how many miles an hour? 267, I think. Or, yeah, I, like, think or it, I think it goes even faster. I think if you, um, if you want it to. That's unbelievable. It's, it's nice. It really is, and, like, and surprisingly comfortable to sit in. Like I'm sure, I'm sure if you're going over lots of bumps, it would be a bit, a bit of irritating. But in, just in terms of the posture that it puts you in while you're driving, it's just such a really. It is lovely. You're really, you're, re you're really tightly packaged. Like absolutely everything like the, is leather lined. And there's and this webbing yes, yeah. that goes over the cockpit. It really does. It really does feel very space age. Look at look at. I love the dashboard as well. Like these are. Proper art. Oh, there's there's the grills. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's crazy. There's loads of buttons down here as well that sort of make me feel like I'm reconfiguring a spacecraft. <laughs> and then these dials sort of look like like they're out of the Jetsons or something. It's brilliant. Yeah, and that, that's beautiful. Like, imagine just. Yeah. Oh, I just. Yeah, uh, yeah. The only trouble is it really makes you want to take it for a drive. It really does, and that is something that we cannot do. There's a big button here that says no. engine, and I daren't press it. And the doors are just there, like we could just uh, no. pull out onto the street. And, uh... But that would be very bad. Yes. Oh, that is wow. Well, I think a good choice by the by the players. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was. I I had a feeling it was going to win anyway. It's a bit of a no-brainer. Yeah, and it, it's one of those cars. It does. It. it crazy but it sort of does everything but like you could you, I mean you could ride you know you could set off for Europe in this and tour around Europe and or just do whatever you want oh wouldn't wouldn't that be the day yes taking taking this for a romp down a, an incredibly long motorway it's lovely Tim this <laughs> this place is magical <laughs> wonderful Another totally amazing car that just breaks all records. Uh, absolutely crazy vehicle is the McLaren Senna. Uh, they've got one in the showroom. We, we can't sit in this one, I'm afraid. But just look at this. The, the gills and the aggressive carbon aero all over it. It's, it's such an amazing package. And like, it's incredibly smooth to the touch as well. It's very strange kind of feeling. Like, it doesn't feel like carbon fibre I've touched before. It's really weird. And the aero sculpting on this car is incredibly aggressive. My favourite thing is the, is the sort of the nostrils where the radiator just comes out into thin air and then sends air over the entire body of the car. It's, it's a new level. It's crazy. And very pretty. It, it looks like it wants to hurt you, which is a bit of a a bit disconcerting but I'd say that that's probably a positive style choice rather than a, a negative one. Oh, 
<laughs> we found a, a car that's in the game. <laughs> 675 LT and there's the real thing. Which in itself is a, a styling masterpiece. Look at it. Wow. This is designed for a driver that's a little bit shorter than me. It's pretty compact, yeah. Um, I'm a bit squished. And the, like, it's really refreshing to see a wheel that has just sort of, its only feature is that the car turns because of it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything else. Wow, you really can't fit in I really can't fit in that. Which is sort of like, it's a, it's a childhood dream spoiled. Because <laughs> I was saying, you know, only a, a mere minutes ago how much I loved this car. Maybe the seat adjusts. It doesn't. Well, you might have yeah, I think I think it would probably I probably need to get this get this modified if I were to be able to drive it myself. It is it is gorgeous, isn't it? I can see the um, I can see the wheel the wheel arches just pointing up a little bit from this angle, so it's sort of like the um, like a prototype car. I can see the wheel wells. Gorgeous. You, I can see the engine. It is, it is just behind me. You know, it's not covered up by anything, not like, not like you'd see on a modern car. Like the, <laughs> the like the valves and the pistons are just, are just visible for me to see. There is no, there's no hiding here. Look at that. That's very close to your head. It is very close to your head. I imagine that the noise is unbearable. I mean, then again, you know, back when this was the newest supercar, you know, they were loud and angry and frightening. I love the red carpet in this one. It's really lovely. And you are, like, if you, if you look at these seats, you are just sitting on the floor. Like, you're sitting in the top of the car as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's absolutely nothing to compromise. Wow. That's lovely. I'm going to get out now. Uh, are you alright? Uh, doing audio. Oh, we don't really need audio for this bit. Okay, it's just. Yeah, yeah. Right, you look at that and you go, oh, that's. Yeah, that's a fine, doesn't it? But you go around the side. Fine. What's going on? Ah, uh, yeah. No, no, no way. The exhaust pipes are of a low ground clearance. Yeah. yeah, so it has to be low overall. We need to put it as low, yeah. If this is a if this is a definitive example of an E type, then yeah, that's a low car. Yeah, so here it is right here. Good, yes, low, yeah. Good. Good. Okay, we got that right then. That's good. <laughs> wow. So a huge thank you to Joe Macari for letting us into their wonderful showroom and for, for giving us unprecedented access to all of the cars. It's been an amazing day. Uh, and I hope that you've enjoyed looking at all of the great things that we've been able to do here today. Thanks.